Oh. In Christ I Stand Ministries, we are about to go live. And special guest. Seeking a bird fly in the sky. Hearing a new bird make me cry. Finding the apple of my eye. We want to praise his holy name. Letting our love fly across the land. It's DJ Jackie. Wake up in the AM every day. Every morning, new life. Rebel by Gary Majette. Reverend Aaron Burford. Minister Larry Parker. All over to him, caught a clean slate. Separated from the world. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning out there. Radio Land. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome to In Christ I Stand Ministry. Once again, we thank God for the opportunity just to come to you in your cars, your homes, wherever you may be. We just thank God for this opportunity to share with you, and we hope that you will share with us. I'm going to open up the lines early this morning for you out there in Radio Land. Uh, I know it's some of my awesome people out there that has testimonies, that has issues they want to share. You might even have a little small testimony that you want to tell somebody about. And always prayer. Always prayer. You might want prayer. And we are here today at In Christ I Stand Ministry with my main man. Yes, sir, Mr. Larry Parker is in the house. Hey, Mr. Parker. Good morning, sir. Good oh, morning. He, he's still a little bit on the uh, bedside back. So. Yeah. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Hey, DJ uh, Jackie, yeah. wake him up, DJ Jackie. Wake up, wake where up. Where you at? Where you at? Get that crust out oh, your yeah. eyes. Get that crust out your eyes. Yes, indeed. DJ Jackie, tell him about that mix that's going to jump off. Oh, yeah. You can hear that at 1245 today at 1245. The Kingdom Mix with DJ Jackie. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We got my man, uh, uh, my brother in the ministry. My brother in Christ, the one and only Jabri Harris, is here today, man. Woo -hoo -hoo! Hey, God this is a preacher you. in his own right. Yes, God bless you. God the covenant. Yes. Good morning, saints. Good morning. Yes, indeed. And then yeah. I couldn't get to him this morning. I'm going to say the best for last. I couldn't get to him this morning, brother Curtis Parker in the house. The yes. video on the book. Best on this side of heaven. Yes, sir. I just want to let y'all know out there, man. Brother, Mr. Curtis Parker, y'all better get him. We're yeah. we gonna give you the information to contact him if you want that sweet, beautiful video of your family or a loved one. All right, now this person that's coming up. Oh man, she is beautiful. Angel just done set in on us this morning. WTJC Praise Radio Ultimate Gospel Experience. Our mother is here, Mother Parker. Amen. Hey, yeah. so that means glory. Hey, why you don't have the chair right here for Mama sitting? You don't want her to sit by you? Don't let that get her to sit by me. I have nothing to say. Oh, okay. All right, Kurt, your mama ain't here, man. What y'all doing, man? Y'all ain't set her up. Well, look, Radio Land, I woke up early this morning just to tell you about the goodness of the Lord. And we here at In Christ I Stand Ministry, we love the work that God has given us. Yes. And that's the work on the neighborhood, the community, and yes. this nation yes. that is falling Come apart. Come on, somebody. Amen, yes, amen. Something. It's falling apart. Praise and God. so we're, we're out, we're going to get out, we're going to be going out, doing that outreach ministry, we're going to be touching people's lives. There's so much going on out there, ladies and gentlemen, and we want y'all to be aware of it. But, first and foremost, I got to talk to my man, Larry Parker, my main man. Hey, good morning out there, wake up, get that crust out your eyes, Robin Burford, it's time for you to get up. <laughs> they don't need to lay all around. Our drill, kick them out of the bed. You want to be in Bedside Baptist this time of morning. For all of you on Bedside Baptist right now, we want to send prayers and, and love out to you. And those who are tuned in, we want to truly bless you. Uh, Mr. Parker. Sir, yes, sir. You ain't woke up yet. I am awake. I'm he's fine. awake. He's awake. This is my main man, Mr. Larry Parker. Mr. Detail himself. Come on here. Tom broke off. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Good morning. I'm thankful. Today, today is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, sir. We are going to rejoice. Yes, yes. And we're going to be glad in it. Yes, sir. I, you know, I thank God. I think today we're going to have a broadcast of heaven yes. on earth. You yes. know? Amen. And I just thank God um, for being here. Uh, I thank God for uh, Mother, uh, my mother being here, who you call Mother Parker. 
That's right. That's yeah. right. And uh, and um, so it's just a blessing. So you want me to go in the scripture, sir? Yes, and, sir. All right. And we're going to have on do the prayer? The opening prayer? Oh, well, she can. You want to pray? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to say she do it. <laughs> Amen. Well, come on then, Mr. Father. Okay. Lay it on. I'm coming with the scripture, the, the uh, radio. I just want y'all to know, if y'all remember the last time that she was here, she was sharing her testimony. And we didn't get a chance to ask any questions, so uh, Reverend Majet had mentioned about that. So she is back today. Yeah. She could, you know, maybe ask some questions and maybe That's get a little brief. So, okay. Well, they're here. Somebody so called this, me about it. Really? Yeah, yeah, they so called me. They, yeah, they so love her so much. Oh, hey, man. Back in the day, I'm talking, I'm going to take her back. Oh, take me back there a little. Okay. Oh, so I'm going to read the scripture. I'm going to read the scripture. I'm going to come again from St. Right. Corinthians, the uh, 12th chapter, um, starting with the first verse. And when you, you know her testimony, and you hear you know, the things she shared. Amen. And this is heavenly, so I know that uh, uh, the word coming forth today is, is going to be awesome. Have, yes, sir. For my speakers. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is expedient, it is, excuse me, it is not expedient for me, doubtless to glory. Mm -hmm. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago. Uh -huh. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. Whether out of the body, come I on. cannot tell. Yeah. God know it. Such as one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God know it. How that he was caught up into paradise. And heard unspeakable words, mm. which is not yes. lawful for a man to utter. And jump to verse 9. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Mm -hmm. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mother Father, she's going to open us up in prayer. Come to Father in Jesus' name. Jesus. God, we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. Yes. And we just thank you, Lord God, for this time. We thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord God, for bringing us here, Lord God, in this radio station, Lord God. We yes. thank you, Lord God, for being here with us. We thank you for the anointing yes. that you have put on each and every one in this place, Lord yes, God. Yes, Lord. We just thank you, Lord God, for moving in your way, having your yes. way. Yes. We yes. out of step, Lord God, no and you have your way. Touch, touch, touch each and every yes. one, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. As we go mm. forth to give your word, Lord yes. God. Yes, Lord. Because it's not about us. It's yeah. all about your way. You know, you yes, praise so God. have your way. Yes. And we just thank you for thank it. Thank in you, Lord. Jesus thank you. Jesus. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Mother, for that wonderful... Mother Parker, just an awesome angel from God to come to us. Come to the community of Portsmouth, Virginia. Come to the community of Virginia. She's just a precious stone that was set down from heaven. Yes. We thank God for it. We thank her for that prayer. Look, we thank God for you out there uh, that's tuned in. Uh, you might want to check in. You know, you can always... Hit us up with the number 454 1650. 454 1650. Don't forget about that 757. You ain't calling nobody without 757. Make sure. Hey, listen, uh, Mr. Parker, you you know, you want to say something to the people out there in Radio Land before we go get deep into things? Uh, you know how I am. I always like sure. to say something to the people. Say good morning, everybody in Radio Land today. All right, all right. Have a blessed it day. Himself, the, the best videographer on this side of heaven. Y'all yeah. just heard him. Yeah. Look, we thank God for this opportunity. I really had some information that was supposed to came to me. I don't know if it came yet. But listen, let me share this with you uh, concerning Reverend Majette and what God is doing in my life. It's, it's something I want to share with you out there in Radio Land. You know, because I'm a true believer that does nothing happen, nothing, if God ain't in it. Yeah, you got that right. Nothing. You know, I, I, I told my theme is, my theme, what my heart sets for is Acts 17 and 28. It's because of him yeah. mm. that I live. Oh, yeah. That I move, there you and, go. That my being. Oh. and that I have my being. Glory to God. So what it says, so what it says for the prophets of old. Yeah, they go. said the same thing. Mm -hmm. The old prophets. Well, mm -hmm. well, I'm turning around. And I'm saying it today. That's my thing. Thank you, Jesus. I know I can't do nothing without. Him. And Thank if you, you can, 
Man, y'all got something going on we need to find out about. That's for sure. You want to take this call? Yes, ma'am. Please let me have this call. Good morning. Who's calling? Where you calling from? This is me, Tony. I listen to y'all every Saturday morning. They come out every morning in the morning with a house. I can't get up there, girl. How you doing, girl? I'm preaching to my dad about 15 minutes to preach and they be teaching out the word and Hey, ma'am, ma'am. Miss Phyllis. Excuse me, Miss Phyllis. Yes, can you please turn your radio down? You need to turn your radio down. Well, no, you got to turn it, turn it off. Turn it off. You trying to hear yourself. You you trying to hear yourself and you giving us feedback. Turn it off. All right, come on. Come on here. testimony. We don't want you to call here for a sermon. You know, just call here for a nice, short, sweet, I think that's what I said, nice, short, sweet testimony. You know, we can't have a service. We got a lot of people. We got a lot of people, so we can't have a service right now. Right, right. You know, we got a lot of people, so if you call in, please, let's get straight to the point. You need prayer? Need prayer. You got a short testimony? Say a short testimony. You can't go around America, though. Y'all they take heed to what's going on. But she was saying some sweet things. Sister Phyllis was talking about all the mess that's going on around here. Y'all know what's going on. It ain't something that you don't know. You look at the news. You know all the shootings and the young stuff that's going on around here. So she was speaking about it. We need to step up somewhere. I don't know where y'all going to get it from, but I'm going to get mine out of heaven. Amen. That's the only way I can get it. You know, I can't get it from you, I can't get it from the police, I can't get it from the whoever the the, the Amalam service, uh official uh, uh uh fire department. We can't get it from none of those people. Y'all better go up to heaven. Amen. Go up to heaven. You know, it's an old saying back in the old days. Go down on your knees. Go to the altar. Mm -hmm. Tell God about it. Cast your cares upon him. Yes, Lord. For he don't care for you. And I care for you too. Just don't talk so long. <laughs> we got all these people in here. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Uh, the man called me. 
uh, I had a young man call me about uh, his family, and so I told him to call. That wasn't the call. No, wasn't. But listen, let's do this. Let's let Larry Parker jump off some of these details he got, because one thing about it, Mr. Parker has the details. Let's talk about St. Mark. Amen, amen. Hey, I just want to just say this. You know, it does, I just want to say this, that uh, In Christ Our Stand Ministry is an outreach, 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 excuse me, outreach ministry of St. Mark Missionary Baptist Church. So when we have people call in, speak, or whatever, it may not, all the views may not be necessary, the views of St. Mark Missionary Baptist Church, mm -hmm. but uh, we appreciate appreciate people's talk, testimony and their yes. sharing. But I just want to put that buffer out there that sometimes all of you may not may, may not be uh, representative of our church. Okay, hey, what's hey. happening this morning? Here you go, sir. Uh, I want to first bring out that one of our associates ministers, yeah, um, yeah. Reverend Pastor yeah. Justin J. Berry Sr., he's one of the associate ministers at uh, St. Mark Missionary Baptist Church, and God blessed him with the church in Franklin of Virginia, White Oak Springs Missionary Baptist Church. His pastor's uh, installation is on Sunday, April 7th at 4 p.m. So if you are in the Franklin area, stop past and uh, just, um, it would be a blessing to him. He is one of, he's, on, he's our family. He's been on this broadcast and shared a couple of times, maybe more. So I wanted to honor him again. Again, the installation service. 4 p.m. on April 7th, White Oak Spring Missionary Baptist Church in Franklin, Virginia. Yes. Pastor Justin J. Berry Sr. and Lady Kendra Berry. Also, recently, he had a baby, little baby boy. Oh, two yeah. months yeah. old. Oh. So his installation service is tomorrow. Oh, Pastor, okay. Yeah. Okay. Next, I wanted to mention also um, the Supernatural Move of God services. We have them on 2nd and 4th uh, Saturday. Uh, for, de for details, you can call 757-392-7492. Again, 757-392-7492. Also, I just wanted to give you a heads up. That supernatural move of God service with signs and wonders, bring the sick. If, if they dead, bring, roll them in. They, they That's get right. Bring them on in. The gospel is preached. It's going to be April 27th, 20 through 24, at 3 p.m. at the Holiday Inn, 5655 Greenwich Road, in the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. If you don't be there, you be square. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's, that's my man. Right? If you don't yeah. be there, that's, you'll that's, be that's square. The stuff. <laughs> and listen, don't meet us there. <laughs> beat us there. Yeah, like that. And then I also want to, always want to remind you, at uh, tomorrow, April 7th, if you're not even, if you're not with the man of God, Jabri Harris, if you're not with DJ Jackie, if you're in Portsmouth, you can come to St. Mark Missionary Baptist come Church. Come on now. Um, 2714 Frederick Boulevard. That's Our Sunday school services start at 9.30. Our church services start at 10.45. And tomorrow we will be blessed by um, our one and only Elder Joyce Carcannon. She'll be preaching the message. She is an awesome woman of God. And our worship leader will be our very own Reverend Danny Prescott. Yes, sir. My man. Yeah. That's my age. Yes, and you're, that's his man. That's his man. That's so my age. Those are the uh, now. Oh, and I'm going to give a shout out to Reverend Burford's uh, daughter. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Next oh, yeah. Lexi Burford. She had just um, she had been uh, honored mm -hmm. and joined this presti this prestigious organization yes. uh, at her school this weekend. We love you, Lexi. God bless you. We love you, Lexi. Burford and Brown family. Burford family and Brown family. Brown family. Brown family. Yeah. And that. That is news that you can use. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is news that you can use. Hey, listen. We got some more news for you. Straight out of heaven. Straight out of heaven. We got some more news for you. Uh, before our preacher come on, we're going to let our mother go first. Yes, sir. Come on, mother. Yeah, mom's going first. Whatever come mom on, has. Mom. We're going we're gonna, to. And then we're going to ask her questions, too, because I got some questions from the old school yeah. uh, that people want. Right, Come on, Mom. Okay. Let Mom have the mic. Turn it, turn it to her. And we gonna, You gotta turn it. Yes, I have You got your mama. I got her. Yeah, you don't wanna get no beating. That's why you better. Hey <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Hey, let me tell y'all something. One thing about me and God, God has me to do certain laughters. 
Because I found out that laughter is the best medicine. Yes, yes it is. Yes. It is. That's right. Y'all don't believe that out there in radio land, but let me tell you something. I believe it. Laughter is the best medicine. Mm -hmm. It is. That's right. You know, it don't cure the common cold, but you know, mm -hmm. it does cure the inner the inner self. Mm -hmm. You know, and I thank God for it. Mother's here. Why you put on mother? Mother's here, y'all. Mama Parker, you it's on you. Okay. Praise God. I'm coming back some a mirror heart, <laughs> like a medicine. Yeah. And sometimes you need to laugh instead of complaining bad things about yourself. You need to yes, laugh. That's right. And I need you to get in the microphone so they can hear you. Yeah. God give yeah. us. Yeah. You need to laugh. God give us that yeah. joy. Yeah. Talk he to us. Give us that joy. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And Come on, man. A mirror heart does feel like a medicine. So we need to laugh a little bit. And sometimes the dreams can't think of laugh, but let's laugh anyway. I know that's, that's right. right. That's yeah. 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 I know you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you laugh at yourself. Yes, sir. You got to think of something yeah. funny about yourself. About and yourself. yourself. That's right. That's right. And sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and I say, oh, and I just laugh. I say, God. <laughs> that's right. I do that too. I said, God, you are so, you have such a so uh, awesome. sense of humor. Yes, you yeah, do. Yeah, he is. The yeah. best in town. That's um, <laughs> I said, God, you have such a sense of humor. Yes. But to God be all the glory. Um, last time I was here, I talked about heaven and hell, and I gave my testimony about what God had done for me Amen. and for the experience I had going to hell. And I'm just going to emphasize real quick, I'm not going to do the old thing, but I just okay. wanted to emphasize a little bit that um, hell is a gentle place, and you got to make the choices. Your choices you can make now while you're here, because when your, when your spirit will leave your body, where is it going to go? Is it going to heaven or is it going to hell? Mm -hmm. You can check yourself now to see, are you spending time with God? Are you talking to him? Are you spending time looking at the bad news, bad listening bad to bad news. people, and letting them put you down and make you feel like you want to kill yourself? That is not of God. Mm -mm. They come to steal, kill, and destroy, but God came to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly. Yes, sir. And so you have to take your time, spend time with God, talk to him. Don't worry about what people say around you. I've been there. And I want to commit suicide because of the way people were treating me. And I found out that I have a God that loves me. Mm. And he wants special things for me. And the same way for you. He has no respect to person. The Amen. same for you. But you have to receive him into your heart. That's right. You have to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Yeah. And he died for you. Come on. And he wants you to live. He wants to teach you how to live. Yes. And you can have fun. You can have a good time in the Lord. Yes. Every day should be a joyful time and a great journey for you. I know mm -hmm. you're right. And mm -hmm. he will show you how to do it. A lot of people think because uh, a lot of people think you got to have, you got to drink or have a beer or have drugs to have a good time. That's true, mother. But that's a medical <laughs> time. That's, that's true. Evening. But God will show you have a good time. You can go to the mountaintop. You can get drunk with wine in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And have a good time and come back off the mountaintop and still have a good time. I know that's you're right. in God. You're not doing what everybody else do. And God's word tell us that. And I want to share that going to hell, when I went to hell, on, it was awesome. I'm telling you, my spirit left my body and I was at the door. I was at the door. And then all of a sudden, I was like on an escalator. And I was going through, and these things was picking at my, picking at my spirit at this, from the from the wall. These black things were picking, picking at me. And the mm -hmm. demon, he was dancing. Come on, come on. See, the demon can't dance now until he gets you to hell, and then he'll dance. Cause right now he's dealing with you. And so he was like dancing. Come on, come on, come on. And I was screaming my head off. I'm tell you, I was screaming. God, let me come to Albany because God was there. They would tell you that God is there. Mm. And God was there. And I was saying, God, let me come back. Let me be good. I'll be good. I'll be a better man. I'll be a better wife. I'll be doing this. I'll do that. And all of a sudden, this girl, they had went on the, went on the hallway and mm -hmm. said, the girl is dying. We see death on her face. And my mm. husband's cousin, she was a nurse, and she came and started shaking me. Sir, 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 sir. Sir, wake up. And I jumped up, and I felt myself, and I'm like, and the doctor said, uh, we're going to have to take the baby. I said, no, I wanted to take, you had to give you eat. I said, he said, no, if we give you, you're not coming back. And so what they did, they numbed me from my waist down, put a spine, they blocked my spine and blocked me from the waist down. And 
uh, that's the Minister Curtis over there. That God bless. Oh, yeah. That God bless. Yes, yes Paul. indeed. A blessing. <laughs> He's a they say, blessing. They say he don't want to come out. <laughs> he want to stay home. <laughs> get to come into the world. God bless. I tell you, God, God bless. bless him. God bless him. Uh, God bless. And after that, the doctor told me not having more children. And I had told you about that, how he said I would die. It would be a choke to me and my, my baby. Uh, my baby, my mind had not lived. And it, my husband, 50-50. And for not seven years, I walked in fear. I smiled at the church, smiled at everybody, mm -hmm. smiled, and nobody knew how I felt. And then when I would leave church, I would just cry. Mm -hmm. i go home, I would just cry. And, and one time I was so, I had, uh, I had went through so much. And I was so uptight. I took my, my minister pocket, grabbed him, and threw him against the closet door. And I had to get myself together. I knew that wasn't right, and he knew we just hugged each other. I knew that something was wrong. I knew that I had this emptiness. I needed somebody. I needed help. And one day, I was at church, and the pastor said, you need the Holy Spirit, and you need it with fire. And I'm screaming out, Lord, I need your Holy Spirit, I need with fire. And just like the Ten Commandments, God <laughs> brought that fire from the from the uh, side of the wall of the cross and punched me in the jaw. Mm. Got drunk in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. My husband had to help me to the car, help me to the bed. Got home in the bed. And two angels came. They carried me back in the bed, came back up speaking in tongues. Mm. Praise God. Two o'clock. Thank you. Uh, July 27th. 1977, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm telling you, God is real. Yes, he is. And, and he, he wants you. When I went back, the, uh, God healed my body, blessed me with my daughter, the, and went back to the doctor. He said it, and he said, uh, then I'll tell you that I have more children. Then I'll tell you what that. Then I'll tell you what you have to talk to your baby. Then I'll tell you what 50 50. And I told him that you did tell me that. But no. I told him no. Sometimes when you go to the doctor, the doctor tell you something, I think. They don't say they know what they say, I think. Uh -huh. Then you don't have to agree with that doctor. That's you right. have, no, you uh, shall believe the report no, of the Lord. No, you're just thinking it. Amen. You don't know. And be careful how they cut you and run tests on you. Because they don't have to all the time. Not at all. And so, and I'm not knocking the doctor. I'm just telling you, you can make a stand. Yes, and you because can. I made a stand, now my daughter, I praise God, <coughs> had her, 1977, 1978, 9 o'clock in the morning, praise God, and I've been Heaven, let me tell you something. Heaven is beautiful. Everybody, I would love for everybody to go to heaven. Amen. Heaven is a one, it's peace. Yeah. You have peace. That you, it's like you're the word. That you're the word already. Amen. And I was there. It's a big place. Hell is narrow. But heaven is a big place. That's what the word says. As far as the eyes can see. That's, that's what it's I'm a saying. big place. And where I was. I saw the New Jerusalem, the Golden Road, the gate to the city. Praise mm. God. Amen. Look over to my left, I saw the three crosses. And Jesus cross was in the middle and the front. Amen. Only all was on the hill. I tell you, it was amazing. And mm. I just stood there and I just looked. And all of a sudden I heard a voice. And, and I heard a voice and it said, and, I, and it was Jesus talking. Jesus was talking <laughs> to Moses and Elijah. And I'm like, I'm standing there watching and they didn't ignore me. And then God said, God said, you got to go back. Mm. I said, no, Lord, I don't want to go back. He said, you got to go back. I said, no. He said, your husband is calling you. And then I heard my husband calling me. And then I realized I had to go back. Because God had a special way that he wanted my children to be raised. Mm. And nobody could do it the way he wanted me to do it. Because I asked him earlier, because of the situation I went through, I asked him earlier to teach me how to minister to my children's soul and their spirit. Shandell got saved when she was five. Curtis was 10 and a half, going on 11, right, Curtis? Mm -hmm. He was 15 and a half, going on 16. Okay. Because God did it. Amen. Any questions you want to ask me? I got a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, well, you know, this basically, first, first and foremost, is to thank God for a mother. Because, see, mother has that experience that you and a whole lot of others don't have. Right. I think she had the same experience that I have. She might have had hers before, that spiritual visitation, mm -hmm. that walk yeah. through heaven, mm -hmm. where God would come, the Spirit of God would come and walk you through, especially if you're in a situation between death and life. Yeah. I've been there myself, so I understand what she's saying. Somebody been shot nine times, right? Somebody that been stabbed, 
cut up, beat up, you know, four stage cast, all that. Those visitations that God bring forth to you are for you. That visitation was for her to share with you out there in Radio Land. Let me tell you the importance of it, that you might have had some visitation like that yourself. That this visitation that mother's speaking to you about is confirmation. Yeah, it's confirmation. And so because it was confirmation, it was confirmation to me. And the more times I hear about it, those spiritual visitations from others, because from others and also my mother. When I hear those visitations, it confirms my visitation. Mm -hmm. And it confirms that God will visit you. Yes, yes, you will. And Amen. so don't you thank Radio Land, all of you sitting around with your, I, you know, I really appall you, you uh, itchy ear people, uh, you busy bodies, you babblers, mm. you know, because you don't have nothing good to say about testimonies right, such right, as right, that right. coming out of heaven. Come on. But I'm just saying, I'm, I want to set the record straight. If you got any difficult in believing, that God will spiritually visit you and help you along, you got a very bad problem. A very bad problem. I don't know who you is. I don't know where you come from. I just want to share it with you. Understand this. When that visitation comes, or you hear about a spiritual visitation, touch and agree. Amen. Touch and agree. Because, Amen. see, your next move would be when God comes see you. Amen. Amen. Mom, Mom, I got this question. Well, it's basically it's some, some things that were going on in y'all life at a younger age. Do you remember Cavalier Mount of Center and y'all used to come to the Cub Scout meetings over there? Yes, I was a Cub Master. Yes, she was. <laughs> I was a Cub Master. And, and, and see, to let you know Radio Land, Mother been working with children a long time. And what do you have to hear that? Oh, my. Oh, I know it's been a long time. It's been ago. a long time because Wait. the first babysitting I did was when I was 15. Wow. I twins when 15, I was 15 years old babysitting. Yes, when I was 15. And then um, I took care of a little, uh, Mr. Hagwood, please. Uh, Hagwood, yes, yeah, right. I used to uh, uh, be the caregiver for his grandson. Amen. Papa Parker used to be with you over there that Sunday then. My husband, yes. Yeah, that's Papa Parker. <laughs> yes. Ain't that Papa Parker? <laughs> well, listen, listen. Uh, uh, he probably rolling on the bed. What is he doing? Is he listening? Yeah. All right. Hey, big well, up he to you. Probably. Yeah, big up some blessing to you, uh, Mr. Parker. <laughs> Papa Parker. <laughs> I like saying that. That's my man. This family has truly been a blessing to me. You know, I was in the Boy Scouts over at... Uh, at the Cabin of Mount of Sun. Oh, okay. And I think I've, I've, I've viewed you over there. You probably did. But I was just so mean I didn't stay there. Oh. That's what it was. Okay. I was so... <laughs> yeah, I was so mean I, I couldn't stay there. But listen, Larry, don't you want to say something to Mom? Hey, come on, man. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. Hello. You going to call the radio station or you going to keep calling my telephone? That phone ain't ready. It's, the ringer is on. All right. 150. No, no. Hold on. Listen. Maybe maybe y'all hitting it wrong. 757. 454. 1650. Okay, well, I put it in wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, but. I have y'all on this phone. Let me see something. Call right now. Tell them to call right now. Call, call right now while y'all, why? Okay. Right. And look, okay, thank you. L listen, Radio Land, these are uh, a family member uh, and friend of mine that's very dear. They lost a loved one, and they have some things they want to share. And so I'm trying to get them online uh, so they can share that. And then uh, what I would do is I would follow suit on that what they're speaking about. And so they're going to call here. But listen, let me get back to mom while they're trying to call. Listen, mm -hmm. Mother Park, I just want to ask you, was Larry in the Boy Scout? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, Carla, hold on. He was? Yeah. No wonder he's a good guy. Thank All right. President of the Coast House. Hello. He was with me in the Coast House. Hey. hey, come on here. How you doing, my sister? Vamp. Yes. yes, I'm here. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just holding on. You've been holding on? That's all right. I remember this old lady had a song talking about holding on. I'm holding on. Come on here, my sister. Share with us. Uh, 
share with us your situation. Yeah. And we're going to we're going to join in with you. We want to open our hearts to you and share with you as well. Come on, my sister. Uh, well, take I'm your time. Take your time. I've been strong and I'm a mother of uh, five I have a recent gun violence on my stadium in Jewish Drive. Um, I'm calling because I'm a preparing mother and I'm trying to reach out to the community, to the public, to the violence has to stop. Violence has to stop. We all hurt when our loved ones are back. It's, it's not only about our loved ones, it's about everybody. That's right. That's we need right. to get together. That's right. And, stuff, and come together That's right. as one mm. to just stop this violence. I'm not just speaking out for my son, but I'm speaking out for everybody in the entire world. And I just can't do this walk alone. Mm. Besides the help of the Lord, I need people. In my same situation, even if you're not, I still need you there for support. And I'm, I I have to tell you that I'm not here. I'm just numb, and I'm just trying to get uh, some type of help or funding for the bury of my son. For, for, for the violence, so I can put more really peacefully. The pain is there, and the hurt is going to always be there. But if we come together as one, we can get somewhere. Okay, dog baby, I got. I want to ask you: Did you do a GoFundMe page? No, I did not. Okay, when well, you yeah, probably... it was just a touchy situation, and I just didn't do a GoFundMe because I didn't want to put the side thing because I don't know if it's cheap, but still, I did. Okay, listen. Do you have? I know you have a family member that could probably handle that side for you because of what you're going through in your situation and grieving. That you can probably mention it to a family member to open that that uh, GoFundMe page. Not only that, but we'll continue to speak about it. Uh, you need help, but we also need to know where you know the finances or things will be going to, and who it would be going to. We we'll need those addresses. Can you do that okay. for me? Okay, children, children, brother. Yeah, I have a ledger over there. Name it out again. Steel and Bullet, I have a ledger over there. Steel and Bullet Funeral Home. Okay, Turnpike Road. And so you have you have your information at Steel and Bullet? Yes, I have a ledger over there. They're taking everything from me. Amen. Amen. So if you if you're doing the GoFundMe page, do they have to the persons that donates, they have to send it to Steel and Bullet? No, they can send it straight there because, like I said, the ledger and, the, and she's they're giving out on, you know, giving me receipts as you're taking them everything from the finance, the financial money is concerned for the, for the help of his brain. Amen, amen. Well, we know, and I, I think I've talked with your uh, your husband, and we are uh, we're gonna put this out. And I know they hear us now, so it's already out there. God already know about it. And we're going to definitely uh, be there to support you and help you along the way. In the word of God, and the spiritual things of God, we will be there to give to you. And so we thank God for you. And listen, it's, it's some more information you have you want to give out. Can you come with that? Hold on, Hello. Yes, the man is. Good morning. I'm, I'm, call I'm, I'm calling, and this is Francis Damien calling from Alexandria. I just wanted to let your session know that I'm, I'm listening, and, and Sister Sarah always gives a great testimony, and I'm truly enjoying this program. Hey! So I have a blessed day. Yes. Hey, wait a minute. Don't where you think you're going, gal? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you, Karen, my great. Yeah, I know you is up there. Well, we're all enjoying yeah. you guys. I just love it, love it, love it. Well, we love you and we miss you. I didn't see you last week or week before. I last. You've been you. out of town. I've been wondering. A couple of weeks. I'm just here. Yeah. Thank you, Karen, my great. 
I've been so wondering where you've been at. I love the fab and, no, and still an extremely anointed. I just okay. love my sister. She is such a great inspiration to the church and to yeah. our family. Look at that. Yes. And we just love her and may God continue to anoint her and continue to bless her, bless her, bless her. Yes. Well, God continue to bless you <laughs> and those little ones up there. Give your daughter them my blessing. We thank God for you, Sis Francis. I, 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 I walk around the church you looking for you, and you ain't there. <laughs> so as one of the radio broadcasters to say, you just keep on keeping on. All right. Uh, All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. The caller that we were talking to, I made a mistake and hung up on you. If you can call back. Amen. Amen. And listen, the caller that came on before lost her son uh, through gun violence. She lost her son through gun violence. Gun violence is simply taking over portion. And, 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 you know, I do a lot of being scared of things, you know, because, like I said, I've been shot nine times. And so, you know, God delivered me. It was only by the hand of God that I was delivered to be able to come and deliver this to you out there in Radio Land. We need to do something, like the lady said. We need to come together. Ain't no high horses on this. Nobody's above anybody. Everybody is equal on this trying to do something about all of this shooting and these killings. Something got to be done. Hey, send your portion. I heard about y'all. I'll be there. I'm coming. One thing about it, I don't. If once y'all get me in there, y'all better be ready. I'm going to pray with you first even though y'all might not like it. <laughs> but Reverend Gary Majette is coming. To speak to y'all down there in that portion of council that, that, I don't know what you want to call it, that place where y'all just turn against each other. Mm -hmm. Well, we ain't going to have that. One thing I don't have, I don't have people turning against each other. And so we're going to be coming down there. You know what I mean? Because I, I had an invitation given to me uh, for somebody else, but I'm just going to support that person. But boy, when they open the door for me to talk, that's right. So I'm, I'm just getting you fair governor. Right? When you open the door for me to talk, I'm talking. And I'm telling. Because it makes no sense that we can't get control. You know, you can do it. But it makes no sense that you say you can't do it. Or you don't know how to do it. Well, there are people that's been there. People have been there. And you're talking, you're listening to him right now. Been there. That's right. Both sides of the fence. Been there. But I thank God for my sister who called in. I thank God for my mother, right? Mother Parker. She's my mother too. Y'all ain't got to have that fun looking face on you. You got two mothers. Yes, I do. I got three, four of them. Mm -hmm. You know? You ought to get some. Uh -huh. You need to get some fathers and some mothers. Uh -huh. Something to guide you and something to urge you, you and lift you. Yeah, you ought to get them. Listen, I got my main man here. I'm gonna cut. I don't. I, man, I'm gonna chop them all up. But I'm gonna let him say something to y'all. He got a word that he might just want to just drop a little spell on you. And uh, we're gonna let him come in his own little way. I ain't gonna hold him. Amen. Well, pray, Lord. Well, let's get right into it, Father. Let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, be pleasing unto your sight. For you are indeed my strength and my redeemer. Yes, Lord. Let's look at Isaiah Don't. chapter 30. Let's go, preacher. Verse 23, as we talk about what went on and gun violence, I'm going to, to just download. The Lord sent me to download something. And download. You briefly. And the message Bible says, God will provide rain for the seed you sow. The grain that grows will be abundant. Your cattle will range far and wide. The New Revised Standard Version puts it this way. He will give you rain for the seed with which you sow the ground and grain the produce of the ground which will be rich and plenteous on that day your cattle will graze in broad passion. And I would just want to ask you know, the people are questioning radio land, uh -huh. what seeds are you planting? Uh -huh. We'll see. And the thing is that you got some people that are planting violence. They are planting so many things in these people's minds to where, you know, you got to get to a point where you got to take those games away that involve shooting. Yeah. You got to take those video games away that include stealing yeah, and different see. things like that because there are so many people who are brainwashed because they are so attached yeah. to these things and to these groups to 
where now you're following somebody and following something that's going to lead you to a place that you can't get yourself out of because nobody has planted the seed of encouragement in you. Hey, Amen. Amen. Come on. The Bible says that those who sow in tears reap shouts of joy. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Come on here, brother. So if you say that you're planting faith, where's the evidence? Mm -hmm. If you say that you're planting wisdom, where's the evidence? You can't plant faith in no demon. Uh, come on. <laughs> All you these witches and warlocks around here taking, trying to take out the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. devil is a liar. Amen. Amen. We got to stand firm in who we are. Time was to come together in unity. That's what Jesus was about. Jesus was about unity. He was about love. My, my 15 year old cousin passed away from gun violence. Did I lose my mind? No. Don't lose it. Did I want to take revenge? No. Because I know what I stand for as a man of God. Yes. Amen. So when we see how some of these young people, all they have been planted is violence. Yes. They grow up around people that all they do is fight and cuss and steal yeah. and shoot mm. just to prove a point. Amen. But don't nobody want to tell them about <laughs> Jesus because they think they are high mighty. They think that they got it all together. None of us got it all together. Say so. Say so. We all got flaws. We all got situations that we've gone through. We all got things that we encounter. But one thing about it is that when we come to Jesus, he will turn our life around. Amen. Just Amen. how Paul, who persecuted Christians, yes, right. who had the disciples killed, Amen. Yes, who was so. there when Stephen was stoned to death, and God stopped Saul in the midst of his tracks. Come on, preacher. To where Saul was blinded by life, and Paul couldn't even move. So I can even move. Mm -hmm. So with this is that you got to get to a place where you allow God into your mind and say, God, plant in me the seed that I need so that I can grow. God bless you real good. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, we thank God for that. Yeah. That little short excerpt right there on fire. We need, but it, I mean, it ties in with everything that was being spoken. Uh, the calls that came in, we want to thank uh, Pastor uh, Debris Harris, the one and only man uh, that 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 goes out and, and allow God to just carry him everywhere. Yes. Amen. I mean, God carries this young man everywhere to preach and teach about the goodness of the Lord. I'm talking about lifting one another up, encouraging one another. You know what we just had here today is so exciting and it's so it's so uplifting. Mother Parker and uh, Pastor Jabri Harris, Brother Jabri, man, it's just been so awesome. Even the calls that came in, we want to thank God for that, you know. Uh, but we want you to know to continue to lift up the name of Jesus. Continue to call on that name. Amen. You know, we know it's power in the name. We want you yes. to find out about the power yes. in yes. that name. Yes, indeed. We know about it. Brother Parker. Mr. Larry Park, I know I done cut you all, man, and talk like a, like a, yeah. Let's go back over here and talk to Mama and Pop and them over here. All right, y'all, come on here. Let me talk to y'all. I want to pick it back with the young man that said. Come on, man. Because you he asked me about children. But I have blessed me that my house became the recreation center for, the, for my neighborhood. And I knew that my, all my, the, all my, the children who was in my neighborhood and the parents, in my neighborhood, and the kids would come in my backyard and play basketball. We had a pool table, and if I hear something I didn't want to hear, I let them know it. And I said, I should pray for you. And they would stop. They had a lot of respect. Yeah. <laughs> they had a lot of respect for us. Yeah. And That's then right. when my daughter started school, I had to, God bless that the, that the children would catch the bus in my driveway. Amen. And I would allow them to come my, in my house. Okay, wait a minute. I would allow them to come to my house. And they would look at Captain, Captain um, Gospel, Gospel Bill. Bill. Gospel Bill. And I would pray with him. And the lady said, the bus driver said that was the best kid that she had for the whole year because.
was there in my driveway when they got hot from school. I was there, sent them home, go to love mama, do you what you had to do. Amen. And I thank God for it. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Like I mentioned last time, one of those young men is, is right now the uh, the chairman of the school board of yeah. Portsmouth. That was that used to be at, the, at yeah. your house with yes. his uh -huh. uh, gospel bill. Yeah, mm -hmm. Dr. Cardell. That's yeah. all right. And so, um, you know, we praise God for that. Mm -hmm. And you know what? What what it is? Uh, people, Jesus is not a religion. No, he's he's he's, he's a way of life. He's yes. reality. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you know, and, and we and we pray for everyone that's gun violence and everything. Unfortunately, you know, it's come to the time that these things happen in our lives, and then we get a, a we startle in right. realization. Yeah. You know, we're in the last days. That's right. Come I on. mean, yeah. you know, just the other day in New Jersey, uh, you ever heard of an earthquake in New Jersey? In New Jersey, a earthquake. That should tell you. Jesus said Himself yeah, that you wars, and rumors, and war, earthquake yeah, in various be. places. Yes, sir. But the gospel is going to be preached, and then the end is going to come. So yeah, you know, lift up, saints, lift up your voice, lift up your faces, yes. lift up your hands, and draw it not. So the, these are the last days. So what is that? What we got to do in Christ our stand ministry? We trying to get the word out. Here we come. We coming. Easter, Jabari Harris trying to get the word out. Yes, We're trying to get the word out that Jesus is alive. Yeah, he man. came one time, but he said he's going to come again. That's yes, right. And so you got to be ready. So let's pray for our people. Let's yes. pray for let's pray for people. Let's yes. pray for one another. Yes, okay. Yes. We gotta keep everybody lifting in prayer. Amen. Because these are the last days. Yes. And you know what? It's going to end just the way God said it's going to end it. Amen. You know, the devil looked like he might be busy, but I, he didn't fool God. The Bible uh, said God sits in the heavens and laughs. And, laugh. and we need to laugh with him and get Amen. his word out yeah, that yeah. Jesus is the Lord. Yeah. And he so to see Satan yeah. and yeah. set people yeah. free yeah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I'm Amen. telling you, so true to what my brother is saying. I stand with, with him. I stand with mom. I stand with Jabri. I stand with you. We Amen. have to do something. Yes, we do. We have to. And we have to get out of here. But I'm telling you, you can't do nothing without consulting God first. You got that right. You have to consult God. We don't want to go out the wrong way. We don't want to go out telling people the wrong message. Amen. We want to tell them the right message in the right way. Yes. Amen. So we consult Amen. God. We pray. Yes. Listen, Radio Man, I'm asking all of the preachers, all of my prayer warriors, to pray for this family that lost their 15-year-old son. Not only him, but everyone that went through that. Amen. Everyone. And then we need to also pray that, listen, that God will help us to find a way to bring this mess down, out the way. We, let me tell you, it's not going to be com totally complete, absolute. Because you're going to always have it. The enemy is always trying somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? So look, stay tuned. Stay tuned to us right here in Christ I Stand Ministry. 92.5, 104.9, the ultimate gospel experience. Stay tuned. Y'all come on and go with me in prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come first saying thank yes. you. We truly thank you for this opportunity that you have allowed us yes. just to approach your throne of grace yes. and mercy, God. God, we're asking for a touch of heaven this morning, God. We're asking for a mighty move of heaven, God. As you set down upon our listeners, God, set down upon us, oh God, that spirit, that knowledge of changing the course of the enemy. God, we're asking for special guidance, God, right out of heaven. We know you are able. Your word says you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can even ask or think. And we thank you for that, God. We thank you that you have provided for us for so many years, oh God. Yes, and just to see all the turmoil, God, yeah. we know you are able to fix it. Yeah. You are fixing, God, and we thank you. Yes, sir. We thank you for this broadcast. We thank you for the listening, oh God. We thank you for this ministry. We thank you for each and every one that's here. Oh families that are represented here, oh hey, God. Hey. Those who called in, families are represented there, hey. God. God, we ask you for a special touch. Hallelujah. Because we know a touch from you, Lord, yeah, sure. will make yeah. everything all right. So in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness, God. Thank you for your mercy. 
Thank you, oh God, for you are sudden.